Terry Dayton, and this is the ME Amplifier. It's a 10 watt push pull lamp, specially designed in 1930s tombstone radio cabinet. Stand by here, and I'll give you a guided tour of the amp, what it's all about. Is that ME? ME? Yeah, and this is the ME Amp. Let's turn it on. Reach down, turn the switch on. Look at there. What color is that? The amp is on. No, it's E M I. Yeah, Emmy. Yeah. This is the Emmy amp. Okay. So what we're gonna do today on the Emmy amp is Emmy's hand is gonna be traced here, and we're gonna put the serial number and the date of the manufacturer of the one of a kind Emmy amp with your star. What's your name? Go ahead, Emmy. Emmy? Emmy, you got it. Okay. All right, so here we go. We trace Emmy's hand in the amplifier. And this will be the trademark Emmy handprint that you'll see in your amp. Here we have the uh, final product, the Emmy handprint, all dated and ready to go in your custom app. All right, control line up on the Emmy amp. We have a built-in tremolo circuit, so you have intensity, speed, of course. And on the speed pot, you hear that click. That's because the speed pot actually turns on and off the tremolo. Plus, once it's on, you can turn it on and off via a rear uh, quarter inch input jack. And then you have tone, and the tone also has a switch on it. And that's to bypass the tone when you don't want to use it. So you get pure uncolored sound. Volume is pretty obvious. Power switch, which is pretty vintage. And your input jack. And this whole thing lights up real cool with some uh, internal blue LEDs, which you'll see in the video. Our backside, we have a 10 inch Weber Linko magnet type speaker. Sounds really nice. And here's the home built chassis. I uh, built it on a Hammond chassis, preformed, and used uh, a Haybor power transformer, a Hammond output transformer. These are 6,005 output tubes, which are heavy duty 6AQ5s. We have two. Uh, 12AX7s, one's the preamp and one's the inverter. And uh, there's a filter cap hiding back there. Controls are on a uh, sub panel, which has to be extended to fit into the cabinet. And you see there's a lot of bracketing and a lot of work went into making this thing fit properly. On the back, your input power, your tremolo jack, and your speaker jacks. And when you plug in your speakers, they automatically turn off the internal speaker. Right, I've already taken out the screws that hold the chassis in. So as you see, it uh, simply slides right out. There's the uh, control panel there facing you. And uh, there's the top side ever. Okay. And here we'll explore the bottom side and I'll explain the circuitry. The bottom side, it's all point to point wired, except for this turret board. And this is actually a uh, Fender Princeton turret board that I ordered and uh, build everything on that. Did some slight modifications for this amplifier. Uh, you got diode rectification. You can see the filter cap over here. And down here, there's a relay. That relay actually switches in and out the tremolo circuit because if you uh, recall on some of these earlier amps, even when you're not using the tremolo, you can hear it back there pulsating unless you have the rear uh, jack plugged in. And this one, you don't have to do that. That's switched through the uh, front speed pot that I explained earlier. All right, well, I'm gonna finish uh, getting the amp back together. And I have a guy coming over here in probably an hour or so, and we're gonna shoot a live video of the ME amp. Uh, I just had to divide this into two parts because it'd be way too lengthy if you try to cover it all in one video. Uh, the chassis slides in with this one Allen key. This is all you need to secure the chassis. And I'm gonna include that with the amp when you buy it.